C214 Financial Management, just what a weird course. First off, it's set up completely different than the other courses for the MBA. What makes it weird is the objective assessment is done in Excel. If you didn't already know, I have a WGU MBA study guide. That link is down below. The first thing that you wanna do is check the right rail and find the financial management course resource link. Watch the passing strategies video. In that video, he goes over each thing that you should do for this course. Right after that, you need to install Microsoft 360. It's free from WGU, and don't worry about adding the add-on called My Educator that's already installed within Excel. Then you actually wanna print out the formulas. There's two pages of them, and guess what? There's a lot of times that you can answer a question just based on a formula. On the objective assessment, a question might be like, what is this ratio about? And you look at the ratio and it says dividends. So it's clearly about dividends. All right, now you are actually ready to start learning. So first thing is you watch the 10 session videos. Each session video goes over one or multiple chapters within the text. Do not freak out when he gets to the mass sections, all right? Definitely pay attention to like present value, future value, rate, all of that is really, really important. But when he gets to the part where he's actually doing the calculations, don't worry about that. There's a way easier way. By the way, these videos are way better than the C213 accounting videos. The next thing that you're gonna wanna watch is the two hour Dr. V bootcamp. I just happened to be able to get a live cohort. So on Sunday morning for two hours, I watched Dr. V go over an explanation of the whole course. Now the great thing about that course is Dr. V shows you how to use the functions in Excel. It's super easy. At this point, there is a 50 question interactive quiz. It's an Excel, you can download that and test your knowledge. You could also do the pre-assessment. And at this point, you probably will fail, but you can at least see what you need to watch again. In that intro video, he tells you that you probably need to watch the videos like three times. By the way, if you are watching this video, you and me, we have it easier than people did in the past. In the past, you did have to use the calculator and the course was a lot harder. I also did a coaching center business math for finance lesson. It was like an hour long and she goes over the math again. She she didn't know the easier way how to do it. However, she did show how to set up the calculator for adding four decimals. But long story short, you do not need this calculator. It's still a good calculator. It does percents, which is really helpful. But setting it up for four decimals, that is definitely something really handy. Here's what I did after I took the pre-assessment the first time and failed. I started using the Quizlet. It's like a 220 something term Quizlet. And I went through the learn function, which actually doubles the questions into 400. It just tests you over and over and over again. And I've made it like 200 questions through and I still didn't finish the whole Quizlet. There's the 50 question interactive test and there's also a 150 question study guide that you can download. I know there's probably better options at this point, but I was using ChatGPT. I had one window open that was quizzing me, and then I had another window open that was actually teaching me. So if I didn't know something, I would have ChatGPT give me a hint or teach me that idea. And I would go back to the quiz and just have it quiz me over and over again. I don't know if you can tell, I am just wicked tired. I did not sleep well last night. I took the OA and it took me a little bit more than an hour. And throughout the whole thing, I thought I was totally bombing it the whole time. There were just questions that I had never read. There were terms that I just didn't know. And the good thing about the objective assessment, there's usually one or two terrible answers. So somehow I ended up passing passing and doing really well. I got three exemplaries and I got green competence for everything else. I ended up between competent and exemplary. So kind of just in that upper middle. Truth be told, I should have been doing the chapter quizzes. Now that I know what was on the OA, I'm gonna be updating the study guide. Definitely check out the free study guide. It's down below. At this point, I need some coffee. I am dying here. I hope you're doing good. Take care of each other and I will talk to you soon.